Welcome to the Valhalla Filmcast, a show where normal guys talk about the films that they love. And here are your hosts, Bryce Thompson, Brian Hammond, and Cody Ryrie. Now get ready, because the show starts in 3, 2, 1. Welcome to the Valhalla Filmcast. I am Bryce Thompson. I'm here with Cody Ryrie. Hello there. And... We are going to talk about Suicide Squad. Um, just a little quick review, what we thought of it, if you should see it, if you shouldn't. And then you can go and we'll record a spoiler show like we always do. And you can see what we really think of the movie. Specifics. Uh, yeah. So let's just get down to it. Uh, what did you think of it? My personal opinion? Yeah. Um I thought, as a whole, the movie was pretty bad, actually. Yeah, um, I give it my rating right now, because it can change as we talk about it, because as we've seen in the Ball film cast, as you talk, it gets movies seem to get better. But yeah, yeah. right now, my rating is meh. meh. <laughs> See, because so, there were some things in the film that I did like. It wasn't yes, a total loss. Yeah. But yeah. as a whole, I walked out going, eh. You know. Yep. I agree. <laughs> it was I don't know, I feel I don't want to get too much into spoilers since this isn't a spoiler show, but Right. If you are going to go and watch this movie, maybe just wait. Yeah. I think to be honest, Brian asked me because he hadn't had a chance to see it yet, and he asked me in a text what I thought of the film. And yeah. after I texted him, he was like, huh, do you and Bryce just want to handle this one? <laughs> so I mean, we already talked so one viewer out of it. So, But uh, what's crazy, like, it's getting views. Like, people are going to see this movie. Oh, yeah. Well, we were just looking at the box office for Thursday night. 20, 25 20, million in the U.S. for one yeah, night on a Thursday. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's I mean, definitely breaking has... records. Yeah, that has to be some type of Thursday night record, don't you think? Especially for an, for August. August is when things are supposed to wind down. Yeah, that's know? crazy. So, um, and we'll get more into details of why we thought it was meh and what we liked. There was definitely things that I liked about it, but... Well, I can give... Just, I think I can give a couple real quick spoiler-free general good and bad just to give people an idea. Yeah, definitely. It's important to them. Uh, goods for me was uh, most of the cast I liked. I thought the actors did a good job. Um, highlights for me was uh, Will Smith was really good. Uh, he was kind of, you know, he didn't take over the movie. He was part of the cast, but he still really shone out for me. I liked him and his yeah. contribution. Uh, Margot Robbie was really giving it her all as Harley Quinn. And... Uh, she wasn't she wasn't bad at all. The, the group was not bad. I was really surprised by how much I liked uh, Jai Courtney, who has not impressed me in the past. Yeah, uh-huh. he was he was good in this. So I don't really fault the actors as my my issue. Well, maybe with one exception. Um, but to keep things very vague, my negatives center around two things. Number one, the actual like pacing of the movie is very off. Yes, um, definitely. That probably yeah. my biggest my biggest issue well, with it. It's so scattershot and so oh we've got to really go fast here yeah. and not explain things and so that was a really big issue throughout the entire film and also yeah, that's the, the villain, my biggest thing is just I feel like the, things. Yeah, yeah. Well, and then my second one, and I won't even reveal what the who or what the villain is, but the villain was atrocious. I thought like just laughable towards the end. I thought it was funny when it's not supposed to be funny. So the, the big no. plot problems, the villain issues, and they combine to, to really ruin the whole movie, despite how hard the actors seem to be trying. So that's my little, hopefully non spoilery goods and bads. Yeah. And I can agree with just about all of those. Uh, I will say just as is personal, um, it doesn't really spoil anything, but I didn't like really like Harley Quinn. Hmm. very much Uh uh i think my like i've said before in the past when i go with high expectations they're never met and i said i was gonna go low i did i tried but harley quinn i mean she's like one of my most favorite characters you know so that's a a lot of expectations there 
Yeah, and so I just felt like she was just too stupid and crazy. Mm. You know, I mean, she's a doctor. You know, true, she can't true. just be like she's not just all of a sudden just going to become stupid and crazy. <laughs> you know, like she yeah. can be insane. Like you can be insane, but you can still be smart. Gotcha. And I just felt like it's like, oh, here we're just going to do a lobotomy on your brain, and so now you're stupid and you don't know anything, and. It just didn't work for me. She was just ditzy and just the, you know, just the bimbo that everyone made jokes about. I just thought it was really, they could have done better, I feel. Do you feel like that was the writing's fault or it was Margot Robbie's fault? No, I don't fault Margot Robbie. I think she's a great actress. She's one that I can actually stand to watch. I like her a lot. But just the way the character, I guess maybe could be some of her fault the way she brought the characters together, but I don't, I feel like the writing and I've seen this can be more spoiler, but whatever. Um, I felt the writing more throughout the entire movie than yeah. just with yeah. her. So, but that was my, probably my biggest, the biggest letdown was um, Harley Quinn, but that was also some of my fault too, because I had such high expectations. Okay, but, well, let's uh, let's star rate it, and then we'll get on to the spoiler show. I'm anxious to go into details yes, on this one. Yes. All right, uh, let's see. I give it a two and a half. A what? A two and a half. Out of how many? Five. Oh, whew. okay, I thought it was ten. I was like, holy cow. That's <laughs> no, that'd be the horrible. atomic bomb. That's, you know. <laughs> no, I give it a two and a half out of five. You know, as a real quick side note, I have received some feedback from those around me that we need to have a specific Valhalla rating system. Yes. And, and I don't know, I fl- totally was it agree. Flaming Swords was suggested to me, like four out of five Flaming Swords. I don't know if I'm going to adopt swords. that. But Whoa. If you have any suggestions, people, yeah, listeners, absolutely. please. Because we've, we've talked about this before. We just can never come up with anything that doesn't sound too <laughs> silly or something. So not that that stopped us in the past from being that's silly. That's true. That's true. Okay, but so you you, uh, you gave it two point what? Two and a half. Two and a half. Out of five, I am going to go a little lower. I'm going to give it two out of five. I really yeah. did not enjoy the movie as a whole. So. So that's that's it uh, from the Valhall film cast. Wait. <laughs> that's right red box red box yeah i mean watch it just because but i think we need to send uh warner brothers a message that their movies suck and they need to stop well and that you know should mean more i mean not mean more but it should mean something coming from me because i was a huge defender of batman versus superman yeah and thought it was fantastic and this I one didn't do anything for of, me so yeah i liked batman versus superman almost better than i liked this movie yeah which is kind of sad and disappointing it also made me realize how much marvel is really wiping the floor with them because my goodness there was there is the worst marvel movie and i've seen them all is better than suicide squad yeah and that's what i said when i got home from the movie i was like it's kind of sad and i hate marvel and (laughs) <laughs> I'm admitting that Marvel knows how to make movies, which I've admitted that before because they can. Yeah. It's just sad that Warner Brothers doesn't know what they're doing. Yeah. Well, so, and we'll get into that more. There is some behind the scenes things that I have learned through my research that may have changed this film. We'll get into that in the spoiler show. So there's your tease to go click on the spoiler show. All right. Well, hey, and you don't even need to watch it. You can just come with the spoiler show. So. That's right. Do it. <laughs> we'll see you there. Following viewers' opinions and commentary are the sole property of the Valhalla Filmcast. Any unauthorized reproduction without prior consent is prohibited. Any incidental music, audio clips, or film trailers are used for the sole purpose of film criticism and commentary, as allowed under the Fair Use Act.